Hello everyone, Strong Mom here, and today we're going to talk about um, why did I actually marry my husband. Um, so, this is a very uncomfortable video because I have to say some truths that are uncomfortable. You know, I got to dive deep into my personal choices and face myself in the mirror and, you know, make better ones. So, um, one of the biggest reasons why I married my husband was because I had insecurities that stemmed from fear, fear of being alone. Now, I never wanted to marry anyone when I got older. Um, I would always say um, to my friends, oh, I don't want to get married. And even while I was dating my husband, I would make sure, I would tell him stuff like, yeah, you better not propose. I don't want to get married, okay? I'm just, don't. Um, one of the reasons is because I... Um, also was told that I couldn't have any kids. Um, the uh, I had some surgeries because of some problems, medical problems that I had, and um, the doctors told me, yeah, you won't be able to have any kids, so, you know, FYI. So I didn't think anybody would want me uh, because of that. Um, I felt like if I married someone, they would resent me later because of that. Also, um, I had fear of not being loved, you know, um, that stems from the problems that I had at home growing up with my family, with my parents and my siblings. Um, it was, um, it was a very, um, it was a tough time growing up and without getting too much into that. Um, but you know, those kinds of things can scar a person. So I just wanted to be loved. I wanted to find someone who would love me and not dependency disorder kind of a thing, but just find that person who would love me. But I was also afraid of getting married, you know. So um, what made it all um, come down to it is um, I got pregnant. And, you know, we can say a lot for um, this is a whole other topic is, you know, the disparity between um, what society feels is okay for a man or for a woman. But um, I was even more afraid now because... Here I am, pregnant, alone, um, single, and, uh, you know, what are people going to think of me? Um, it was a very fearful time. So I contemplated a lot of stuff, contemplated not telling him, contemplated, um, you know, what do I do? Do I get a, an abortion? Like, you know, I come from a very faith-filled background. That's, you know, a big no-no. So, so what do I do, right? I ended up telling him and um, leading, so I ended up telling him and then a week later on a Friday, um, he gave me a call just to ask me how I was doing and, you know, I said, okay, you know, nothing big, just, hey, okay, I'm going to have a busy weekend. I'm like, okay. But what I didn't tell him on Friday was I had gone to the doctor um, because I had been bleeding. So um, the doctor felt that... Um, I was probably miscarrying, and so she, um, the doctor, made an appointment for me, um, an ultrasound appointment to see what was going on and whatnot, and to run some lab tests, and so I was sent to the lab and, and all that stuff, but the soonest they could all do it was the following week on a Tuesday. So anyway, the following week comes, and Monday, um, a coworker of mine uh, tells me they're, you know, distressed and they could, you know, use a night out to just, um, you know, a ladies night out to, uh, to, uh, kind of talk and, and forget what's going on in their life. I said, okay. So I go out with my friend and, um, find out it's a ruse. Uh, my husband had asked them to get me out of the house so they could propose. He proposed in a restaurant full of people. So I said yes, even though I didn't want to. I felt it would be terrible for him to marry me just because I was pregnant, because I didn't want him to resent me later. And the people that I've known, that's what happens, you know. I mean, it's just kind of impossible to not go there and blame someone eventually. So um, when we got home, I told him that. And he said, hey, you know, you're ridiculous. Don't worry about it. So um, the following day, though, I had my appointment, and um, it turns out that I did miscarry. So tears, lots of tears. I didn't think that it would mean that much to me. 
um, but it did. And he was there. He went with me to the appointment. He was there with me for the ultrasound. And we found out together. And, you know, he held my hand. He hugged me. We cried together. 